Thanks for checking out another video here from Netpix. And today we're going to talk about a pretty interesting indicator called the Arun indicator. And it actually came into the trading world back in 1995. And generally, we use it to gauge direction and strength of the trend. And on any time period, it doesn't matter. Uh, essentially, what we're looking at is a two-line oscillator. We call it the Arun up and Arun down. And those lines are bounded by the 0% level and the 100% level. So in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, the formula of it because you should know how things are calculated. But more importantly, how the output can help you in your trading. So how do we calculate it? Well, first, when a market's trending, either up or down, okay, there's going to be times that markets are going to move strongly in that direction. So a strong bullish market, you'll probably see new highs. Strong bearish market, new lows. And the new high and the new low, that's really important for the calculation. And here's the formula for the Arun. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, it means we can now determine strength or weakness. So I'm going to set the period to 14. Okay, so what's going to happen is the calculation will look back through the last 14 bars to find the highest high in that period. So in this example here, in this chart, four bars from the right, was the highest high in that time period. Okay, the last day is still forming, so obviously we can't count that one. So the calculation would be this. So basically what you would do is determine the strength of the trend by comparing the current reading, the 71%, by the readings in the past. So in this example, again, we can see that the Arun up, that's the green line, is moving downwards, okay? So it's showing a decrease in the bullish strength of this instrument because the indicator, when price was at the highs before this moved down, it showed extreme strength of 100%. Okay, that's a strong move. So essentially what you're looking at is how long it's been since a new high was made during that 14 period look back. So when price pulls away from a high, you're going to see the Arun percentage decrease. Now, in a perfect world, we're going to see the up line close to 100%, the down line closer to 0%, which will signify really strong strength in the market. Okay, and all that simply means is that over the last 14 periods, we are currently closer to the last highest high and further away from the last lowest low, meaning we have a strong uptrend. Simple, right? And you can edit the look back period. The general settings, usually 14 and 25. And now, as with most indicators, moving averages or whatever, it doesn't matter. A shorter look back is going to make the indicator more volatile. Okay, so a higher reading will smooth out the indicator, won't look as choppy. So another feature of this indicator is the ability to give you, at a glance, okay, the general direction of the price. And to do that, we just compare the Arun up with the Arun down to determine price direction. So for this example, I'm just going to use a 25 period. And you can see that price moves further from the last high. The green line heads down towards 0%, which indicates a weakening of bullish strength. As price is closer to the last low, the red line starts to rise up towards 100% indicating the price is making new lows. Okay, that's bearish. And once you see the lines cross with the red over the green, then you can consider that a downtrend is now in force, right? Kind of a confirmation. Great, but how do you use it? Okay, so we talked about how you can determine the trend with the crossing of the lines. We also talked about the strength and the weakness of that trend as the lines pull towards 100% and 0%. Now, how you put that information together into something actionable is going to depend on you, right? Each individual trader. Now, I want to say this, that trading a crossover as a trading signal, uh, when to enter and exit a trade, not the best way to use this indicator. Okay, you're going to want to apply some other technical analysis instead of just trading the crosses blindly. And we'll cover some of that. So are you a trend trader? Okay, so like I said, I would never buy or sell on a crossover, but you can use a trend feature of this indicator to pick a side. So here we have the red circle. 
And that shows where the uptrend begins. So traders would look for long only trades. We have a trading range breakout leads to a move up in price. Now the green diamonds, okay, that's where the Arun hits 100%, which means these are new highs and we have a strong uptrend. So as long as the Arun keeps hitting 100%, trend traders can look to trade the reversals out of the pullbacks. Okay, so when you trade a pullback in general, we want to see strength in that first move, the impulse move prior to the correction, right? That down move to ensure there's a potential for another leg up. There's a video up here. You can learn more about trading pullbacks. What about trading ranges? Well, we know that price moves in waves and in between those waves, we can see price consolidations. So we can see a ranging market objectively by using the up and down lines of this indicator. So basically what we want to see is the lines just moving together, right? And we can easily see that here in the chart. Now the arrows that just showing the lines are all heading in the same direction, right? Towards zero in this example, it indicates a range as there are no new higher highs, no new lower lows, but we do see prior to that last arrow, a new low being made and that caused the red line to spike up. So that's good information to know. And up here on the right, I've linked up a video where you can learn how to trade ranges. Now trends exhaust. Okay. That's when price will start to reverse. So we know the indicator is going to measure strong and weak trends, a strong trends, especially those ones that are fueled by the large candle bodies, right? Strong momentum. Well, they actually run the risk of exhaustion as price starts to make highs. So we can start to look for trend termination types of trades. When we see the price on the chart showing along with the indicator, the possibility of at least a short term correction. So just take a look here. I applied the 10 period momentum indicator in the bottom pane of this chart. Okay. That's where price has been moving steadily down for a month. You see price made a lower low while the red rune was at a hundred percent, which we means what? That there's strength to the downside. The momentum indicator made a higher low at the same time price made a lower low. What do we have? We have divergence. Now this little small chart, that's an inset chart. It just shows where you would place your order to go long on this trade. The break of those highs. This is Bitcoin on the day that I started making this video. Well, I'm going to break down the important things here. Price put in a higher high at number one. Momentum did not put in a higher high. The Arun indicator is at 100% green, right? We are starting to see the Arun travel in the same direction as the down line. Okay, this points to a possible range forming. We could also be seeing uh, about to see a pullback happen as well. So using this information, traders can be on alert to what? Trade a possible range, use a range breakout to enter long, look for price to pull back for another entry. And if you're long, if you actively trade Bitcoin as opposed to holding it, look to lock in some profits. There are plenty of options for a trader which is why it's really important to have a toolbox of trading strategies that you can use. So what are the key takeaways from this video? When the Arun down is above Arun up, it shows bearish price action. Arun up above the Arun down, it shows bullish price action. The crossing of the up down lines can show you a change in trend has taken place. Obviously on higher time frames, this would be a lot better. Uh, place to use it. The up line, it measures the number of periods since we saw a high. The down line measures the number of periods since a low. Bottom line, it's a tool. Okay. By itself, it's not a trading strategy. You got to implement price action. You have to have a trade trigger. You have to know when you're going to get out and you're going to have to have risk protocols along with the indicator. Putting that together, then you could have a viable trading strategy. There's a plenty of videos on our YouTube channel here to learn all about uh, triggers and exit points and price action. If you like the video, 
hit like any comments you have any questions pop them below in the comments section make sure you subscribe talk to you soon